Hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. I am super pleased to present to you my 3D printed light kit. This 3D printed rechargeable light kit is available for sale as a, either a kit or assembled. So contact me in the comments below. £10 for the kit, £20 assembled and tested. Quite pleased actually because I designed myself this screw together clear translucent case. The STL file is available on request should you decide you want to print this and make it yourself and buy your parts independently. It's no problem for me at all. So the parts included in the kit are obviously the 3D printed case, a lithium ion rechargeable battery, uh, two LEDs, one watt each, a resistor, a switch and a charge PCB. Now the other thing that you're going to need is some basic tools. So a uh, glue gun, screwdriver, tape, solder, soldering iron, uh, wire cutters and a little bit of cable and that kind of stuff. So the first thing you need to do is open the case with the screwdriver. Note this is PLA case, not an ABS case, so don't over tighten the screw. So the polarity of the LEDs is denoted by two little slots cut into them. So uh, get your little piece of your little plastic spacer uh, and uh, position those LEDs on that plastic spacer, making sure that um, you get them set up so that they are ready to be put in parallel. Use your hot glue gun to stick those LEDs in place. The spacing is not critical. So get those bad boys glued down there on the piece of plastic. And, um, and then what we're gonna have to do is solder up the appropriate connectors. Uh, the LEDs will be running in parallel. So um, let's whack the switch in place in the box. Oh yeah, nice looking switch there. Uh, it is quite key how you position this again make sure that once you've got it in there that position will uh, that switch will uh, throw uh, backwards and forwards next thing to do is stick the charge PCB uh, in and make sure the charge PCB is aligned correctly to the uh, slot that's uh, designed in the case so that cables will fit in and uh, plug into it so you can charge and then what you need to do is again using your hot glue gun uh, fit the lithium ion battery in place uh, the lithium ion battery comes pre-made uh, with cables and uh, protected uh, and the cables are also uh, uh, tweaked so they don't short and then what we're going to do is using a lead uh, chopping a lead from uh, the resistor that's supplied uh, start to wire up these LEDs in parallel uh, so this is reasonably easy again it's just sort of basic soldering skills really um, nothing too <laughs> nothing too involved there so I've included the circuit diagram at the end of this video so you can see a little bit more clearly how to assemble and how to connect everything up on this. But it's relatively simple. Um, what we've got is we've got a battery connected across uh, the uh, battery plus and battery minus terminals of the charge PCB. And um, that's across those uh, charge terminals permanently. And then what we do is we copy the positive to the switch. Uh, as you can see there, we've got the switch, we've got the negative lead copied as well. That's the switch lead copied. Um, and that goes continually to the battery. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to connect uh, the PCB that we've assembled here to the positive center, the center pin of that switch, which is the one that's connected to the resistor there. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and solder that up right now. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Lovely bit of soldering going on. Nice fine wire. That's a USB soldering iron, by the way. And um, once that's in place, then what we're going to do is we're going to get that um, negative, uh, that black negative cable that you saw there. And we're going to connect that to the bottom bar of that little uh, light assembly module that we've made. Uh, and then what we can do is we can test this. Give it a test, make sure it all functions properly. And then um, what I did is I just popped a, a little bit of paper in there just to make sure, just to reduce the risk that anything might short and also uh, to encourage uh, the reflection of the light in the direction that you want it. Um, and then it's just a case really of getting the, uh, getting the screw punching through that paper uh, making sure things are aligned and um, connecting the top half of the clamshell case 
in place and boom you have yourself a wonderful little uh, 3d printed uh, rechargeable USB rechargeable light how cool is that anyway I wonder what you might have done differently I wonder if there's um anything that uh, that, that you would have done differently here. Well, I'm sure there's lots of things that you would have done differently. The other thing that I've neglected to do here is remove the support media from the light, from the casing. So uh, I'm just going to remove that support media. So as I say, these are available if uh, if you want them. They're available assembled. If you want them, uh, they're available uh, as kits. And if you want to just go ahead and buy your own bits, uh, I can provide a list of parts and um, the STL file. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, as always. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Please go ahead and throw down any comments or thoughts you might have about how perhaps this could have been designed better or made better. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you in the next one. Cheers and beers, people. Bye for now.